What's up guys, welcome back. Now listen, I know it's the middle of the week, you don't really feel like cooking, but the kids are hungry, or maybe you need something to meal prep. Don't worry, I've got you covered. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this delicious taco casserole. It's super easy, inexpensive, and the best thing is it comes together in about 30 minutes or less. But before we get into the recipe, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, my friends, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. As promised, there's only a handful of ingredients here. We got some jalapenos for a little heat. Totally optional if you don't want to use those. We have some black olives for garnish. Again, optional if you don't like olives. You should grow up a little bit. Just kidding. We got the onions. We got tomatoes. We have some limes, some sour cream. And of course, we gotta have some ground beef for this, but if you don't wanna eat beef, you use chicken or turkey in place of this. We have 80-20 ground beef and some super lean ground beef to kind of balance it out. We've got some refried beans here, Colby Jack cheese. Feel free to use whatever cheese you enjoy. For our seasonings, you know I'm going down with my AP, but we also have cumin, we have chili powder, smoked paprika, sason, and some dried herbs. Quick reminder guys that all the specific measurements and ingredients for this recipe can be found in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. All right, so now my friends, it's time to actually get to cooking. I'm gonna add in my ground beef. Again, we got 80, 20 ground beef and 93, seven. So we got a little lean, a little fatty. So what I'm gonna do now is just break this up a little bit. We're gonna work over medium high heat for this. I wanna break the ground beef up and then I'm gonna flatten it out and try to develop some color. That color is gonna add texture and flavor to the ground beef, which will obviously add some texture and flavor to our casserole. So we're gonna look for some color here. Now while we wait for some color to develop, we're gonna go ahead and start to season the top side with a little bit of my all-purpose seasoning. If you haven't tried that yet, you can get yours via the link in the description box or just use whatever your favorite all-purpose seasoning is that you have at the house. This is low sodium, so if you see me going crazy, don't worry about my blood pressure, I'll be all right. All right, now we can go ahead and give it a good mix now that we got a little bit of color developing in there. Kind of like that, that's what you wanna see. All right, so now we're going in with our seasoning blend. We'll give that a good mix. You can also use a taco seasoning. If you have a favorite taco seasoning, feel free to use that. This is kind of like a homemade version. There we go, it's starting to smell good in here. Now we're going in with a little bit of garlic. You guys know I like to use my garlic paste. You can use fresh garlic as well. About a tablespoon of that. And then for my secret ingredient, we've got a little beef bouillon powder. I'm gonna add that to beef up the beef flavor. Just about a teaspoon or so. You can find this usually in the chicken stock aisle at most grocery stores. We're gonna add about a half cup of water to this and then increase the heat to high. That's just to make sure that the seasoning gets evenly distributed. You can kind of get all the fond and flavor up off the bottom. If you're feeling frisky, you could also do the same thing with a beer but I don't want you guys thinking I'm an alcoholic too bad, so we're gonna leave the beer out today. Put a little Corona in there or something like that will work great. Now we're going in with our veggies. So we're gonna add our onion first, then our jalapeno. Again, guys, the jalapeno is optional. You use bell pepper if you don't want any heat. Let's give that a good mix. And if you're feeling hungry, you can whip up a quick taco while you wait. As always guys, make sure you season to taste and taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference. Once the ground beef is fully cooked, it's safe to get in there with a spoon and you know, give it a taste test. Oh man, this passing the smell test though, that's for sure. All right, now we're gonna make our sour cream mixture. Quick pro tip on this, you want the sour cream to be at room temperature. That way it doesn't go from super cold to super hot and curdle and separate on you. We're going in with about two cups of sour cream here. And then to that sour cream, we're gonna add the zest of one lime. It's gonna add some nice flavor. 
and a couple teaspoons of lime juice as well. So we got the lime zest in there, now we're going in with the lime juice. A couple teaspoons or you know a whole lime depending on how much of that lime flavor you want to have in there. Like I always say, make sure you taste as you go and adjust accordingly. To that, we're just going to add a little bit of seasoning, a little salt and pepper, or all-purpose seasoning. I also like to add just a pinch of sugar to this to kind of balance the acidity from the sour cream and the lime juice. And you have yourselves a nice little sour cream spread that's going to go right in the middle of the casserole. When I say a pinch of sugar, I mean just a pinch, like a half teaspoon or so. You don't have to get crazy. Now, I like to do this same mixture and put it in a squirt bottle when I'm making tacos. It kind of thins out the sour cream a little bit. You can do some nice designs for presentation and it's pretty damn delicious. All right guys, first things first, we're going down the first layer, which is gonna be our refried beans. You wanna smooth that out. You don't have to make it too thick maybe like a half inch, quarter inch or so. That's gonna be layer number one. And then next we're gonna go down with the sour cream. Every layer just gets a little touch of seasoning, so I'm gonna hit it with some all purpose. Next layer is gonna be our sour cream layer, our room temperature sour cream layer. Another quick reminder guys that all the specific measurements and ingredients for this recipe can be found in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. Super easy, kid friendly for those of you guys with the little ones at home that are picky eaters. They're gonna love this. You can top it with Fritos or uh, Doritos, things like that, or just tortilla chips. You can throw it in a low carb wrap if you're trying to watch your carbs. If you're not, just put it in a normal tortilla or just eat it like we're gonna do today. Next up, we're gonna take a slotted spoon and go ahead and add our meat, our onions and jalapenos. Remember guys, if you're not eating beef right now or you're trying to, you know, eat a little leaner, you could go turkey or chicken. Very customizable recipe here. Next layer is just gonna be a nice thin layer of this Colby Jack cheese. Feel free to use whatever cheese you like and save enough to top the top portion of the casserole with. So we're just gonna use a little bit here. Or a lot, cause we're here for a good time, not a long time. Why the hell not? Now, if you're making a larger portion of this, you can repeat those steps that we just did and do another layer. This is a nine by 11 casserole dish. So we're gonna keep it pretty simple today. And after the cheese, we're gonna add more of that protein and then top it with cheese. You can serve the rest of those beans on the side if you want. And now we're going to finally top this with a little bit more of that Colby Jack and that's going in the oven until it's golden brown and beautiful. And then we got some nice toppings that we're going to top this casserole with. You can get creative guys, use whatever you like. Empty out that fridge if you got some bell peppers in there. Really any veggie would work in here if you want. It's your house. There we go. And that's going in the oven at 400 degrees. All right, so for the fact checkers out there in the comments, I know I said 30 minutes or less, maybe more like 45 minutes or less. We cooked everything, built our casserole, popped it in a 400 degree oven for about 15, maybe 20 minutes max. You really just need enough time for the cheese to melt and everything to kind of come together. You definitely want to give this a few minutes of resting time before you go uh, scooping it out. And that gives us just enough time to add our toppings. As if this wasn't kid friendly enough, in come the Doritos. You can use Fritos, any kind of tortilla chip will work for this. We're just gonna crumble some up. Try to make them nice and small. But this is gonna give a little bit more texture to the casserole here and add some flavor and it's just fun. You know, the kids are gonna love it. What kid doesn't like Doritos? There we go. Now for an ingredient I know the kids probably don't like are the black olives. Remember guys, these are optional though. 
I like the color contrast, and personally, I just like olives. So if you don't like them, you can leave them out. I actually went to school with a kid that loved olives. I thought it was super weird that he brought them to lunch, but now I like them. Now we're gonna do a mound of diced tomatoes right in the middle, like so. You kids probably like, man, you should have stopped at the Doritos. And then finally, we're gonna add some greens to the party. So we have some diced green onion and some cilantro. Don't be shy. Pile it high. And then last but not least, a little bit of cilantro garnish and you have yourselves a fantastic, quick, easy, inexpensive, kid-friendly, all the buzzwords, taco casserole. Brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me, guys, looking good. Oh, man. You guys have got to give this recipe a try. Great for meal prep, relatively low carb. I can't wait to dig in. I need my cameraman to hurry up. And now it is finally time for the moment of truth. I'm about to plate this up and get in there for a taste test. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. Come in here on the back side. All right, I finally found my fork, my friends. It's time to get in there and see what we got. Oh man, little cheese pull. Here goes nothing. Oh my God. If you guys don't try this one, then I don't know what to tell you. 